Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, frequency separation to edit your photos to achieve a much more appropriate portrait edit um, that keeps texture and the pores of the skin without it looking uh, porcelain or doll-like or over-processed. Um, now there are two different ways that you can do this. I actually prefer uh, the longer way only because I feel that this is much more efficient. Um, the other way has a tendency to uh, give you that porcelain look which I'm not a big fan of. So right now I am actually in uh, Photoshop, uh, Creative Cloud, and what you're going to do is first you're going to uh, duplicate your background twice, uh, Command J to do that quickly. This layer here, you're going to label low. And then this layer here, you're going to label high. Click on the low layer. You're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Um, now I find that I like uh, my blur to be um, around the five or six mark. I don't want to do it too much. Um, obviously, the more you blur, the more softer look you're going to get, and I know that that's what we're actually kind of trying to avoid. I only want to do it just enough to soften the skin tone. So I'm going to stick around 5 to 5.2. Click OK. Then we're going to click on High. You're going to go to Image, Apply Image, now, watch how this changes. Make sure preview is on. This is how you'll know that you're doing this correctly. Right here when this says layer, you're going to click on low. And then right here on the blending mode, you're actually going to go to subtract. And this should turn gray. And you should see a little bit of your image through this. Now I know that they said that there's a difference between an 8-bit image and a 16-bit image of whether this is going to say add or subtract. Um, I haven't run into that yet so I, I can't direct you on that but I know that uh, with mine and the 8 um, the scale needs to be 2 offset 128 which it seems to automatically do. I haven't had to change that. Um, so once that's done click OK. Then you're going to go up here the blending method and put it on linear light. Okay, now hold the shift key down while you're still on the high and click low so you're selecting both of them at the same time. Drag it down to the folder option down here and let go so it will create a group for you. So as you can see I can turn it on and off and nothing changes as of yet. So now I'm going to open it and I'm going to zoom in. Now the low when you edit this is going to change uh, the color issues that you would have. So if you have red blemishes or uneven skin tone that's where you would fix it. And then the high is where you're going to be changing the actual raised skin or flaky skin or anything like that. Um, so on the low I actually will use the clone stamp tool. My flow and opacity will be low. Um, your preference, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Okay. So what I like to actually do is click around and basically go through. And as you can see, it's kind of already evening out the red that was here. Now depending on how much you have to edit and go back will determine how long this process could take. Um, for skin issues like this, uh, I, you know, it is going to take a little longer compared to um, someone who doesn't have many skin issues at all. trying to do this also uh, as quickly as possible 
because I know that when I watch tutorial videos, sometimes I don't necessarily have 15 minutes to sit around. Sometimes it helps to actually do it while you're watching and pause as you do the steps. That way you can skip forward if you feel the need to. Now sometimes it's harder to see what you're achieving just with that. So I'll go to the high now and make sure that this is on the healing brush tool, not the spot healing brush tool. I actually find that that is a little bit more frustrating. So the healing brush tool on the high level here, you're going to go through and sample and start messing around here. And you'll be able to tell when you have to go back to edit the other layer to get rid of it. Because some stuff is actually just colors. So even though we, you see that she has skin blemishes here, the purple is what's left of the skin blemish and not the actual raised skin that I've already fixed. So as you can see here that I've already fixed that, so I would go back to the low, go back to my clone stamp, and as you can see, I just brush it away. And this is basically what you're going to do with the entire image. You see how that's starting to, to go away? And I'll go back. I know I'm doing this rather quickly, but I'm just trying to help with time. Starting to smooth, oops, smooth things out here. Because you know, you don't, you don't want things to look too smooth. But as you can see, because you're doing this, you're still keeping the pores. And if you'd like to check the progress of how you're doing, easy. Were you here on the group? Off, on, off, on. So you can check and see how you're doing here. I like this too because you can keep natural lines and adjust it how you feel that it needs to be adjusted. Sorry if you hear my dog snoring in the background. <laughs> As you can see here. You know, and you can do as much as you feel. This also is great for uh, shines, if you have excess shining. It, it really helps me when there's excess shine from oily skin. Helps me be able to, to dye that down as well. So this is basically the gist of it. I hope that this tutorial has helped. As you can see, with just the group here, that was the before and that was the after. Now, I can quickly show you just real quick that other method, but why I don't use it. Um, if you click on the high 
and you select the lasso tool and basically you would select an area like this make sure that you're feathered out as much as possible at the 30 and you basically um, delete or you can create a mask um, but as you can see when you do that, see how it blurs the skin out? Now, I know a lot of people uh, do this method right there. And, of course, you know, you could lower the opacity to adjust that, but I I just don't, I don't like it. It looks fake. So, um, I prefer the, the longer method. So, there you go. That is with frequency separation. And my next tutorial will be how I use the uh, Innocent Retouch Greater Than Gatsby Actions. Thanks!